Welcome to Sam and Kev's Outdoor Adventures. Uh, I'm Sam and uh, Kev and I, we're just walking up the Takitaki Valley at the moment near Murchison in the South Island of New Zealand and we're on our way to Nardu Biv and we're going to go up that way and try and make a bit of a loop and have an overnight stay. See how we go. So the first bit of this tramp goes through um, private land and um, so there's an easement that runs through that, and I have to say, it's probably the best marked easement I've ever seen. Um, there's a clearly marked car park, um, and then really, really good signs of where it is that you have to walk. Um, we're here in the middle of the roar, so there are already quite a few cars in the car park, and so um, we've got our tents with us, and uh, we may not spend the night in the hut, we'll see how it goes. Right, we've just crossed the Mataki Taki River, uh, it's quite a wide river and quite swift, so yeah, just be careful here. You probably wouldn't want to be coming in here if there was heavy rain. So we've uh, finally reached Nadu Creek. It's taken us two hours from when we started, so it took about an hour and a half to uh, hit the dock boundary into the Nelson Lakes National Park, and uh, we'll be following this river on now for probably the next couple of hours. So we're about five hours 20 in and uh, we've just got to the bit that picks up and goes around the, uh, the gorgy bit in Nardu Creek so she's pretty straight up. the bib, it's about um, 550 metres vert, all up, we've got to go, hopefully there's no one there because I can't be bothered putting the tent up, but uh, this is what the track looks like. Oh, all the way up there. Thank you. 
Nearly there, kid. Just full of energy. Just making my way down towards the biv. There it is. Look at that beautiful tarn. And a wee biv just next to it. Awesome. Maru hut, 1,105 metres. Oh, someone before us has left the window open. Oh, well, we'll make sure that's closed before we go. Two bunks, just a nice wee tidy biv. Just tall enough to stand up in, I reckon. This morning is uh, cheese, bacon, egg, muffins. What do you think of those, Sam? Well, it's pretty, pretty good. Better than the usual porridge sachet that I usually have. So. so water at the Nardu Biv is via the tarn or a small stream that runs close. Um, in terms of a toilet, though, there is this thunderbox or vault toilet. You ever seen one of these? Basically, a box on top of a hole in the ground cold and a frosty morning but gee was what a spectacular view you've got day two. Uh, we're just making our way up the valley directly behind Nardu Hut. Uh, we've been walking for about half an hour straight up the valley. We're just trying to make our way up to the tops. Uh, so far so good. Um, nice easy travel and uh, just beautiful scenery. Made it up the first bit, up to about 1700 metres. We were planning on contouring around the, the 1600 metre mark, but I think it might be easier to head up over um, point 1802. But we'll chuck a topo map in here so you can see the, uh, the route we've taken.
Okay, so we are three hours, just, just under three hours uh, from Nadu Hut. Um, Travelling along the tops, it's just an absolutely spectacular tops travel. I mean, just brilliant. See in the distance, that grey, cool peak, that's point eight hundred that we were at before. So we've come a long way from that already. So just brilliant weather and yeah, it's unreal. Uh, 0.1449 it's taken us probably oh, a little bit under four hours to get here from uh, Nadu Biv and now we're going to head off um, down a ridge line down to Nadu Creek now we have an old topo map that shows that there used to be a track down there it's not showing our current ones but hopefully we can pick up the remnants of that and we'll um, get down there in a couple of hours Okay, so to find the track to cut down to the Nadu Creek, um, so it's not going to be as easy as a, as a normal track with markers, but come down um, from the trig down to the bush line, so that's pretty easy, and there appears to be a bit of a track um, down to that point. And then once you hit the tree line, you, turn, uh, you go left and you just walk along the tree line. I'm going to do it now, probably about 20 metres, 50, or 50 metres at the most. And see where my pack is there and look what we have on the tree an old marker and we've seen a couple others in this area as well so we're going to uh, explore around those and see if we can find the best way down so we're making our way down down the hill um, these are what the markers sort of look like they're all got quite a bit of, bit of sort of mossy lichen stuff growing over them um, there's actually quite a lot of them but they're pretty hard to find so I guess each time you get to one have a good look around and see where the next one is and there's normally one within 10 or 15 meters so um hopefully these keep going for a while we're still picking up markers but very overgrown in places as you can see very pretty much just trying to find our way through and follow a bit of a path We've just reached this marker and we think that is the indication that we need to start heading downhill. Um, on the type of map it's almost directly above the apex of the slip. So we've um, been pushing our way down. We're now probably down to about the, the bottom of the slip. We've sort of found the markers, lost the markers, and won't found the markers again. I think they hold quite close to the edge of the slip, but we came out a little bit wider than that. But um, all in all, not going too bad. Have got a few scratches though. Right, we're still making our way uh, down towards Nadu Creek. Uh, some bits we can find the markers and a little bit of a track, other bits uh, not. And uh, Kev is just showing us where we don't know the way. Oh, it's quite clearly know the way. It's, uh, it's down through here. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so that pretty much brings us to the end of this tramp. We've, uh, Finally got back onto Nadu Creek. We popped down onto the side creek here just behind us, maybe sort of 10 metres up from Nadu Creek. So uh, by the time we head back to the car park, it's probably going to be about eight hours today as well. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit that like and subscribe button. And Kevin and I will see you next time we're out and about tramping.